Ma uh, cool Cats Craft, and Maggie's behind the camera. Hello. And I'm just going to talk you through our, our clear album. It's a six by six, and you get 25 sheets of craft plastic from Graphic Arts, which is fantastic. And you get um, three ring binders to go with it. So I've made a little album, and I'm using the Graphic Arts Farmyard. Graphic 45. Graphic 45. <laughs> <laughs> right, graphic 45 farmyard um, kits. So it's a, it's a uh, eight by eight, which I think is on the show as well. And what's so special good. with this plastic K for using for albums? It's archival, and, okay. and it's it's sturdy. It's archival, um, and it's lightweight as well. Mm. So and you get more use out of your paper. And oh yes, you do because you can do double sided. So as you can see, you can make a clear album. So the front cover is solid. So I've, I've just covered that with papers. And I've used uh, the artist tag, which is on as well. So that's a little pocket there. And this is a little um, pocket here I've made. But as you can see, you can see through your album. So you just need to be aware of that when you make it up. So I've got two pockets there. And this one is a little flap. So I've put a little flap in there, so I can put a tag in there if I want to. And on this side, I've got another flap. So it's like a gatefold flap with a tag in there like that. So I've got the one magnet in the middle and it's done both openings on here. Oops, just move that across, like that. But you can also see, you can see the back of the paper through the plastic. So therefore you get, you get you have three layers, but it's in fact at the back of that. So you can be really creative and you can really have play, fun playing with this. I know, it's so <laughs> exciting. So Maggie loves this stuff. I do, now. I do. I just haven't got enough time. <laughs> so this this one here, I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate this in a minute. So it's a little tag. So what I've done again, I've stolen some of the um, image imagery from the page behind. So you can do that with the with the clear clear plastic. So I've got a little pocket thing here, I've got some flaps here. Maggie's looked at it and she said, Oh, you could make an envelope as well. So that would be look fantastic as an envelope if you wanted to. But on this side, I've got that pattern, and then I've got this quite detailed pattern in the middle, but I've just made a little um, uh, pocket slot thing to go in there, and I've been using our whiskers dies all the way through this album, if you've noticed. Which whiskers are you using? It's a walrus whiskers. So, and this one is another little pocket, and with some tabs, again, walrus whiskers for the tab tops, and I've inverted the walrus whisker die here. So I've got two of the same little pockets on this side, but you can see all the way through. The beauty is that you can see lots of the album at once. These is, is really simple. These are photo slot dies. And I've just done a, a sheet on here, so you can put your photo in here. And you can have your photo on that side as well. And this is uh, one of our new stamps. So I'm going to use those as going through as well. And then I've made a little pocket, diagonal pocket on here. So I've got one on that side and I've done the contrasting on this one. And again, I've used the back of this paper as a decorative feature on the other side as well. So you can do that all the way through. And then on the back, I decided I wanted a solid cover. So I've covered it both sides with the Graphic 45. So the graphic, uh, the artist, um, craft plastic comes in a six by six sheet and it looks not very clear at the moment because it's got <laughs> as Maggie's Maggie, Maggie opened hers and I got an email I got a, I got a text with a, photograph, with a text saying it's not very clear is it and I said well have you taken the protective clear uh, the film off but ah. the, the, the point is the protective films fit so beautifully on it it is yes that I really thought ooh, it's like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Nitwit here. So, so I'll just peel those back, and you can see you've got your, your film on both sides. So the beauty of that is, a, it protects it, and it's really beautifully clear. On can't there, see it, yes. you can't see it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you can write all over it before you take the backing off. So to that advantage is I've lined up my page like this, and I'm going to make my marks for the holes okay. so I've got six by six six across here I've got six down here so what I've done is I've gone one inch up and half an inch in and I've just made a little dot there and then one inch down and half an inch in there and halfway between the two like that so I now know where to punch my holes 
So it's perfect on any craft mat that's got yeah. measurements yeah, on it. Yeah, it doesn't it's see it's just, it, Yeah. And, and it then, punches easily. Easy peasy. So that's your holes punched. So I've got a crocodile. You could probably just get away with um, an, uh, an office punch as well. But it's a lot easier with a crocodile. And it die cuts, um, or still raw dies. You can cut beautifully with this stuff. So that is my um, page ready to go. So I'll just do the decorative papers on it and we'll come back to stick that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I've pre-cut some of these already. So I've pre-cut a sheet to go over here like this. But I'm going to cut the walrus die on both edges. And then this one is going to go on the other side, on the other side of the page. And I want that as slightly matte. So what I've done is cut it slightly smaller. So I'm going to die cut it exactly the same, but because I've, the paper is slightly narrower, you're going to get a mat on it. So I'm just going to cut those now. So what I will do. Have you cut your um, decorative papers the same size as your six by six, or have you I have left done it a border? The, the, the I no, I haven't. I haven't left a border. So I've left it, I've done it at the same, same height, but I have left a little bit of a width on this. It will, but when it's cut out, there will be space for my holes. But I, I've kept it top and bottom. Yeah. I haven't done a board. You can do a board if you want to. I just haven't. It's entirely up to you. But by using the clear, it does make me you can use your um, papers really imaginatively. I love it. I can't wait to so, do more. So she's yeah, Maggie's 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 smitten. So what I've done is I put this halfway through. So you've got your notches here as well, so you can know that's fairly straight and that's straight down there. It's equal either side. And I'm going to run that through the machine and I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'll we'll come back in a second. Put this one out on both sides. And I, I did it by eye because we've got our alignment notches halfway through. So on our dice, all our dice do that. So it's nice and easy. So it's fairly symmetrical. If you want to be really precise, you need to measure it, but I haven't. And I did exactly the same on this one. And because it was a smaller piece of card, you can see it mats beautifully. Okay, so I've got a mat on either side then. Okay, and I've also cut in some pockets there, which are going to hold a photograph, but that will be when I stick it together in a minute, you'll see. So I'm going to start putting together my page. So I've just peeled off the front cover. Okay, so I'm going to put directly onto that. I've got a three by three piece I'm going to stick on first and then I've cut out a pocket slot um, a pocket, pocket slot tuck in a tuck in thank you the technical term tuck in on here and I'm going to just put that on like that to mat, mat it okay so I'm sticking this piece on with glue because it's going straight onto paper this one is going on straight onto the um, craft plastic so I'm using the artist hack now, it comes in a sheet, it's like a very thin, I'm not quite sure, you're not going to be able to see this, I don't think. But there's a very thin film of an adhesive in between two cover, cover sheets. So I peeled one off and stuck it to the back of here. So I'm going to just ink my edges up, because I nearly forgot to do that. An artist tack is it's archival a, and acid free and it, permanent, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. yeah, and it's very lightweight, it's perfect for this type of album. I, I like, in fact, I'm, I'm using it for all the albums I'm doing at the moment. The so only thing it together. won't hold, which we found out, it won't hold your magnets, will it? No. With your mag pops. No, you need, a, you need a double sided tape for that. Yes, yeah, or stronger. architect. So it's got lots of bubbles on top. So what I'm going to try and do is get this centered and down it goes. Okay, and I've got a little border at the top, but because this is clear, it doesn't make any difference. That's fine. So then this one. Right, this one I'm actually going to use glue because it's um, a little pocket in here. I'm going to glue it round here, round the sides, so I don't want any glue in the middle. So it'll be quicker if I just do the glue. Oops. <coughs> so this is James being quiet while we're videoing. Mm -hmm. So I'll just go. And place that centrally. Oops, nearly forgot. Yes. <laughs> Luckily, I don't need much. <laughs> there you go. Right. Okay. And that goes over the top. 
Okay, so that's that's one page, which is very simple to do. And um, and I found the plastic. I haven't used any matting, uh, matting black black or any other matting. Okay, so that goes on like that. If you if you do put glue on on here, you can just scrape it off. You can use um, surgical spirit. surgical yeah surgical spirit to get it off as well. Okay, so on the back, I'm going to peel off this one. So you can see how clear it is. You can see how beautifully. Can we see the it? dots? No, you won't be able to see the dots on this one. You can't see the dots on this one because it's, it's highly patterned, mm -hmm. so they, they sort of blend in. So you don't have to worry too much about pattern that. So like that. So then this one is going to go like that. So it's going to face that way. So what I'm going to do is I've got some martyr's tack here and I'm going to put it directly onto my craft plastic. So let's take off the cover sheet. So I've taken that off, and this is a bit sticky. So I'm going to put this on. So I know that when it's going, it's going to be hidden. So I'm going to just burnish it in so it's nice and a bit of burnish. You might be able to see the dots now. I can, but I don't know if you can. It's can so smooth, up. isn't it? So this is why the gallery is really good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Okay. That goes like that, and then I'm going to put this, and then I'm going to. I'm just. I'm doing this by eye. If you really want to measure it, then please do so. But I'm going to do it by eye. And I think that's equal distance. Well, I'm happy. I'll just commit that. Okay, and I've now got my photos here. What I did manage to get to do was ink the edges. I think it's more important than this one. It doesn't the other one. So I just ink the edges over. You see how much a difference it makes if you don't do it. There we go. So, and that's going to stick on there like that. Now, because this is going onto paper, I'm going to be using glue again. And obviously, I don't. I want to put my photograph under here and here. So my photograph is going to be between the two. So I obviously don't want to stick these bits. So I'm going to stick a little bit. That's definitely an envelope shape as well. It is, isn't it? Mm. My brain is ticking. Is, is it? Oh dear. Mm. Can you hear? Can you hear the clocks turning? <laughs> How rude! <laughs> it's, def def it's deafening in here. <laughs> Thank God, it's two metres away. Otherwise, I should be deafened. <laughs> there we go. And that goes on like that. Okay, and then so I can put my photographs. In this tuck in here, and get it out. <laughs> so, that goes, so then we're tucking to go in there. So I've used one, some of our stamps then. So now I know that's going to be putting a photograph in there. And so your photograph will go along cross like that. Okay. And then we're going to turn over, and you'll see you can, you've got the pattern on the other side. It's come through. And then that is for your little tag. So I'm just going to do a quick tag. So I've already cut out the shape. And then for the top, instead of using one of our decorative tabs, I'm just going to do a little um, stamp. So I'm just going to put, look inside. So I'm not quite sure if you can see this. So it's a small stamp, but it goes on here. I mean, I'm using our new tool because it's got that fantastic edge, but not as a mitre tool, but I'm using it as a, an acrylic block. So that's going to line up straight with my text. So if I just press in like that. Have you got that, Maggie? Yeah, okay, cool. Now I know that's going to be straight. I'll get my ink. And then I'm just going to I've got to look inside. Obviously it's not stamped brilliantly, but that doesn't this purpose is it's fine and then you just put that in there so I just need a blade just to open that up so I've cut that in I've done it so well that you can't <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> my glamorous assistant Ooh, my turn to be a glamorous yes. assistant she's fared better she's fared better than the locking lock than I have there we go and that just tucks in there as a pocket locket. So that is your page, and you can put that in your album. Fab. Okay, thank you.